What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a stone fly. Uh, this is just a wired stone and um, I like to fish this a lot in early spring. The hook we have in the vise right now is a curved uh, mustad hook. This is a size 12. I have a 1 8 black nickel bead on there. And the thread we're going to be using is UTC 70 denier in brown olive. So the first thing we're going to do is actually pull this bead back and start our thread right behind the eye there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tie in these goose biots and these are in a olive color. So when you're tying in these goose biots um, you definitely want to try to keep the thread wraps to a minimum because you want this bead to come back over it. I'm just going to tie these in one at a time here just so I can get my desired length. like so. I like to keep them a little bit longer on the front because stoneflies do have a little bit longer on the front. So I'm just going to cut these biots out a bit, the butt ends. And we're just going to smooth this little bump out. I'm just going to grab a whip finish tool and just throw a three or four turn whip finish in there. Just make sure that's nice and tight. Now what I like to do right now is just grab a little bit of clear fly finish in a thin. I'm just gonna dab a little, little on there and all that's gonna do is just kind of uh, protect these thread wraps. So I'm just going to hit that, make sure it's all nice and cured. Just like so. Now we can bring our bead over. Now what we're going to be tying in is some lead. This is just a uh, 0.015. We're just going to put about, I'd say, 7 to 10. wraps there. Just want to push that up behind the bead. Just like so. Kind of just get this tag end out of the way. Now we start our thread again. Put some nice thread wraps over those red lead wraps just to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. Cut out the little tag end. Then we're going to bring our thread down the hook to about the hook barb. Now we're going to be tying in the rear tail section and we're going to be using the same biots. And I like to tie mine in one at a time just so I can kind of put it in with a loose wrap, then um, pull it a bit with my fingers. I just like it a little bit more. But it's all personal preference on how you like to put them in. This takes a little bit longer, but I feel I have more control over the uh, the biot here. So once those are in, I'm just going to bring my thread up with these biots. We're going to come up to the back of that lead. And, I'll, and the reason why I like to bring those up just to uh, keep this body smooth and it actually adds a little bit to the body so it kind of matches up with those lead wraps. So for the body part, we're going to be using a wire 
and we're going to be using a UTC ultra wire. This is olive and then a size small. And we're going to be using a chartreuse as well. So I'm just going to get a nice piece of this olive, about six inches or so. You don't need much. This is a smaller fly. Then we're also going to be using this UTC ultra wire and chartreuse as well. Just give it a little two tone look to it. So I'm just going to rip another little six inch piece. I'm going to get them oriented in my hand so they're nice and even, just like so. Then I'm going to tie those in behind the bead on this side of the hook facing towards me here. Now we're just going to bring our thread back up. We're going to grab these two wires and you want to get them pushed nice and close together. The first couple wraps are the kind of the hardest and uh, kind of the most critical because every wrap after this lays right behind it pretty, pretty well. So I'm just going to take some touching wraps up the body here. Trying to keep that wire as close and tight as possible. And every so couple wraps you can use your thumb and actually just push back on the wire. And it'll just kind of push it back so it snugs it all up. So once you get up to about a bead's length behind the bead, we're just going to come in and capture that wire. Some nice tight wraps. All I'm going to do is just helicopter them both out here. Just like so. Now what we're going to be tying in next is our wing case. And for our wing case, we're just going to be using some thin skin. And this is just an olive, kind of modeled olive. And we're just going to cut a little bit of the same width of the bead. A wing case here. And you can use all kinds of different say, uh, wing case materials for this. So I cut a little piece about the same width as my bead. Then I'm just going to tie this little guy in. Just like so. Now we're going to be tying in the leg sections here and we're going to be using the same olive goose biots. So I'm going to tie one in on this side. And these first biots, um, you want them probably, I'd say, as long as the back of the body. Just gonna tie the other side in here. Just like so. Now you can just cut those butts out. And you can 
take some nice wraps and just secure those down. For the dubbing, we're just gonna be using some Rabbit. This is off a of hair's mask. Some nice olive spiky dubbing. So we're just gonna make a nice little dubbing noodle here. like so. Now we're going to tie in another set of legs and we're just going to repeat this process two more times. So I'm just going to put one on this side. Just like so. And each one you put in you want it a little bit shorter than the last one. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second after I get this side tied in. So as you can see there, there's my first one, then my second one is just a little bit shorter. So once you got some nice tight wraps in there, you can just come in with your scissors, cut out those little sections. I like to put a couple more wraps in just so I know they're not going to go anywhere. We're going to grab our dubbing again. Then we're just going to dub up another little noodle. Put a little bit more on this. like so. Now we're going to put in our last legs here. And these ones are going to be the shortest. So when you're tying these in you just want to uh, make sure you put each one a little bit shorter. Once the fly is actually done I'll turn it so you guys can see good. like so. Cut out the butt sections. Then come in with our dubbing and dub the last little section here. Just like so. Now we're going to take this thin skin and I'm going to pull it, make sure it's nice and centered. I'm actually going to pull it over the whole thing. Just so, like so. So I'm going to take a nice couple wraps there so I know that it's nice and tight and it's not going to slide out. Then I'm just going to cut that out. Now I'm going to grab my whip finish tool here, throw a nice four or five turn whip finish. Make sure that knot's nice and seated down in there. So we can cut that out. Now I'm just going to grab my fingers and kind of just pull down on some of these fibers because we're going to be putting a UV wing case on this. So as you can see there that you got your three legs and each one's smaller than the other. And with this dubbing too, you can actually pick it out a little bit. I like to pick it out after I put that on. So I'm just kind of warming this up in my hand because it's a thick loon outdoors. And I find if I hold it in my hand a little bit, it kind of just makes the uh, UV a little bit more uh, thin. So it's a little easier to come out here. So 
So I'm just going to put a little coat on here. Nothing crazy. To protect this wing case from ripping out. It also adds a little bit of cool look to the fly. Just like so. Now I'm going to grab my light. Hit that for about 15 20 seconds. Now, if you want, you can actually pick some of this dubbing out to make it look really, really buggy here. And if you want, you don't even have to put these biots um, as the legs. If you want, you can just put dubbing and uh, just pick it out if that's what you want. So I'm just going to pick a little bit of this out to add some more bugginess to it. And there you have it. Nice little wired stone. Uh, you can tie these in all different kinds of colors. You can tie them in black, um, a darker olive than this, um, brown, any really color. That's what it looks like. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about the fly or any of the materials or anything like that, just drop it down in the comments. Thanks a lot again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.